Mark Amberk here from MSA with the weekly update for Friday, May the 29th. So, uh, we went from winter to, to the heat of summer. It's been uh, very warm. And as a result, the water temperature has, has come up substantially from being last week around 3 to 5 degrees, now today to probably being 20. So what that means is, is uh, this is the uh, trigger for the smolts to run. And uh, so we expect to get the last of the smolts here in the next few days. And uh, we did get our permit for smolt collection from DFO. Um, we just got it this past Monday and the peak of the run was last weekend. So uh, we're still trying to collect some smolts for future broodstock and we'll grow these smolts up to be adults. So anyway, we are out there doing that and hopefully we'll get enough numbers. Um, the, there's no reports of any, any bright salmon being caught yet, although they should be in the river now. Uh, I've talked to one gentleman who said he caught what looked like a very bright fish, but it probably was a week or so ago. It was probably uh, a spring kelp that it had been eating and, and starting to silver up. But uh, anyway, could have been a bright salmon too. Um, but they should soon be hitting here hard right now. However, we'll, we'll never know uh, from uh, the DFO trap nets because they're not in the water. Because of COVID-19, DFO will only be starting field programs in, in June, June 15th, I think, is the latest I heard. And because they've missed the first part of the salmon run, I'm not sure that they're actually going to put their trap nets in at all this year. So wondering how the salmon run is this year it's going to be uh, just what what you happen to see on the river because there will be no official count if that happens so we won't have those updates for you um, this warm weather has also triggered striped bass spawning so it started about wednesday in mass um, the first warm day and uh, so DFO closed the, most of the spawning area uh, starting Thursday and goes till the end of the day on Monday. So that's a 6.5 kilometer section from the Red Bank Bridge down to the Williams Down Road. So 6.5 kilometers. Uh, but because that area is closed, there's still fish that do spawn below there. There's still bass below there. Um, so I wouldn't let that keep you from going out fishing this weekend. There's still lots of bass around to be caught. And the catches have been really good. So, uh, uh, but this will be, as those fish finish spawning, the females will leave immediately and go back to the ocean. So each day that goes, goes on, there's going to be fewer and fewer bass in the river. Because they've started to spawn, uh, for the third year, we're monitoring different areas for straight bass eggs and larvae. So uh, last year we did, uh, we got in a little late on the Tavis and Tack, um, and we're down there this week uh, looking for eggs. And, uh, but we did find larvae in the Tavis and Tack last summer, early in the summer. So we think that they're spawning successfully in the Tavis and Tack. And we know in the Southwest Miramichi, we get eggs and larvae for the last two years. So we know they're spawning there. But again, we're going to do all of that again. And we'll also be doing some seining later on in the summer looking for, for juveniles. So this is the third year for doing that. Because according to DFO, the only known spawning area uh, for straight bass is the Northwest Miramichi. And, uh, Yet, we know historically that these fish used to spawn in many rivers in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. So, we're looking to see if we can see if they are. What we're um, starting uh, on Monday, uh, June the 1st, is we're doing an online auction. And we have a lot of our items that uh, we have here up for, for sale. But the, the real purpose of this online auction is to try to help camp owners and outfitters that have vacant time. So if you were to bid on, on some of these trips, you'll be helping the MSA and the camp owners as well. And uh, so the idea is this is for New Brunswick residents, since you can't travel in from out of province. 
but you may get a, a day's fishing trip, uh, just show up in the morning and just fish for the day on private waters on some very good areas. But in, as we go along, we'll also have accommodations and, uh, and trips to do as well. So our auction will be ongoing for the summer and we hope to put a lot of fishing water into this um, auction. And uh, you know we're in the process of contacting camp owners and outfitters to see if they have vacant water that they'd like for us to help um, put people there for them. And so if we haven't contacted you, you can contact us and, and we'll try to work that out. So our first auction is going to have an end date of June the 15th because we have some really good waters available in June, the latter part of June. So anyway, that, that will be our first goal. So we're hoping to, um, to again, provide lots of prime fishing opportunities for New Brunswick residents through this online auction. So keep an eye out for that. So, and don't forget to participate in our, our uh, Creole Fortune, which is our Toonie Draw, uh, which we do every week. Okay, until next week, take care. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you can stay up to date with everything happening here at the MSA.